Christina is very committed to her position, but mostly to the children at Glenwood School. She wants to see them succeed, she wants them to do well, and she wants them to learn what they need to be able to move on. And she will do everything she possibly can to help them get there. She will go home and she will research, she will make games, she will make flashcards, she will do whatever she needs to do to help her kids learn. My family is a huge motivator because they put up with me <laughs> when I'm trying to find different things to do with the kids. They help me, give me ideas, and they know that I'm going to start bringing out stuff and looking online and, and trying to see what I can do. The kids that I work with are huge motivators. I start driving to work and as soon as I get into the parking lot, I just start smiling. I'm like, I can't stop because I know that I'm going to make a difference and I'm going to be able to help somebody today. She was like helping me get into like reading and respecting others more, cheering people on when they're like struggling and stuff. My favorite thing in her class is I like to do acting the plays out and I like to read the plays too. She definitely is a, takes a lot of initiative, like she doesn't wait to be told what to do. She goes out and gets the kids organized. She kind of sees where we need to go and then just does that on her own. All the teachers want her in their classroom because she knows what she's doing. Uh, she's very understanding and caring of the children. We can trust her with anything, anything that we need. We can trust her to do it and that she'll do a wonderful job. She puts her whole heart into her students and they are all, they're looking forward to seeing her every day. She is not that person who chooses that one child to be all about, but that she kind of doles herself out equally to her students, and it's all high quality. One student that I made a positive influence on, he was in third grade. His family was homeless part of the time. In third grade, he couldn't sing his alphabet. He didn't know his letters. The only letter he knew was the first letter of his name. On Wednesdays, we get out early. Uh, we have early release days, so I stayed on those days and stayed after school and made a special, you know, one-on-one -on -one group just for him. And we worked on all that, on just the basic skills. I bought him a copy of a DVD that helped my kids learn their alphabet, and I set it up so he could get a screen for his Chromebook in the classroom so the other students wouldn't be able to see what he was learning because he was embarrassed by that. And it, it made him feel good about himself and he he loved coming to school because he loved being around the other kids and just interacting. She seems very conscious of where every child is at. The children have great trust in her and they have great confidence in the fact that she's going to make sure that they're okay. And I think that's a major important factor at our school so I have always appreciated that in her. What I love about her is um, that She's always nice to us, and um, she let us read to her. And um, if we forgot to read, she let us read in the office with her. We have many who are invested in our kids and care at our school, but she's just very distinct in who she is and how she goes about it. And uh, we're very fortunate that she's on our team. Taking your class, do you like reading more now? Oh yeah, because I want to be a good reader. Great job for getting that award. We appreciate all your hard work. Good job for getting the award. I'll say to her, good job, Mrs. Ramirez.